Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and it's finally time to get the What's Minor M30S into the fog hashing C1 kit, uh, all-in-one kit that we talked about and showed in previous videos. First thing I would say is definitely make sure you clean it up. Uh, it's gonna have some residue left over, so just wipe it down, give it a good cleaning. Be careful with these edges. Now they did deburr it, but if you slide your finger very quickly across these edges, you can slice something, so just be careful. I moved that car out of the way, uh, letting it kind of, you know, because I don't use it as much as I could. Just letting the fluids run. And mean, meanwhile, soon we'll have some fluids running through this thing. I need to get all the hoses and everything hooked up, which is over here. Uh, just going through my checklist. And I will throw you guys on the GoPro as I continue to work on getting this all situated. It is a process, but I'll break it down for you as best I can. All right, so first things first, uh, everything comes in the package with this machine. This is a kind of pump to, I guess, siphon some of the liquid out, or if you need to replace it, clean out, whatever. You got two fan dummy adapters, two C13s to C14s. Uh, this pump is powered by USB. And then these hoses actually look like what I use for draining my brake fluid. Um, something similar, uh, maybe a little bit thinner walled. But first things first, the hose has got to be installed. That's why you get these O-rings. There's eight total. We only need four for right now. These are backups. And I want to make sure that we're connecting everything um, in order. So use the hoses, the rubber damps or rubber um, gaskets to help uh, seal everything. Two hoses connect arbitrary without distinguishing inlet and outlet. Okay, so the two hoses can be connected either way. So it doesn't matter where we connect it on the radiator, just, you know, one side to cold or where it's blue and one side to red. A little bit harder to see. Hopefully you can see that a little better. So let's take these caps off. I already took it off on the radiator. And then it's just a matter of connecting up the hoses, which you can see right in front of me here. Uh, they're pretty industrial-like. Um, something similar to what you might see at your home with a washer but a little bit more beefy uh, obviously the hoses need to be rated for a certain uh, you know temperature it looks like uv protection all the metrics are right here so plus 100 minus 20 degrees celsius i'm guessing that's celsius that might be fahrenheit the amount of pressure can hold says pb uh or bp 90 bar wp 30 bar 16 millimeter it's flexible blah 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 so these are industrial grade hoses and we need to get the rubber gasket put it in here and what i want to do is you can see these hoses are pretty long and so technically you know i could have the machine over here and then have the fan way over here or consequently i get the the you know the radiator up mounted to my concrete uh wall and then have the unit down here so you got plenty of room uh to go with this what we're going to do is we're actually going to leave it kind of curled up and just connect everything up excuse me for hitting the camera and kind of go from there so let's get this this one's on the cold side want to be careful not to cross thread anything there we go we got it to pop you heard that little pop we might take a wrench and just lightly tighten it up there we go okay and now the rest of this guy. And we get another gasket. And again, try not to cross thread. Snug it up for now. Might go after and tighten it just a bit all right so that's down in there and we got some room to work with at least a little bit there we go and same thing for this one going to the hot side probably gonna want this one up here that one down there get another rubber gasket Put it in, try not to lose it because they will pop back out on you.
All right, everything's snugged up. I need a better wrench than this, but this is what I got for right now. Just gonna give a couple of turns, just snugging it. I definitely don't, with the amount of pressure that's going through here, we definitely don't want any leaks. All right, so now that the hoses are connected, let's move on to the next part. These are actually really good to keep, by the way, so I'm gonna hang on to those. Uh, we can go ahead and put the ASIC in, but now that I touch not only the grease on, so it looks like they got some Teflon tape and a little bit of grease on these. I just touched that. My hands are dirty. Um, I want to clean my hands before I touch the ASIC again. Looks like um, we could put the ASIC in. It says confirm all fans in the mining machine have been removed, including fans and a power supply, and then put it uh, into the immersion box uh, with the power port and network uh, port facing upwards. And then it's just a matter of connecting power to the machines um, and obviously the radiator. So I got to go get the power cables that we need for up here. I'm going to need two and then I need to run network cable from, you can barely see it in my dirty garage. But I got an Asus uh, router, a repeater over here that's basically a mesh network. I got to run an ethernet cable somehow. I'll do that off camera all the way over here and then two power cables to the machine and then my um, special connector to go from here to the ASIC. So let me wash my hands and I'll bring you back after I run the ethernet cable. Nice. Now, obviously we need to connect our power cables and everything that we need, uh, but bear, bear in mind, if one power cable cannot meet the load, connect two power cables in a different power lines. That's important because we are getting 240 volt here, but my biggest problem is even though we got two cables going to the machine, as well as the ethernet cable on the inside, because we're running an M30S, it doesn't have a C13 to C14, it has a C19. And so using this cable, I'm only gonna be using one power port to provide all that power to the M30S, which is one, not recommended, two, not safe, and three, not my recommendation. What I'm looking for and what I'm waiting on to get here is uh, dual power to one single night C19 um, that's in shipping and eventually will get here. But I wouldn't run this 24 seven, just FYI. So we got everything connected in here, powered up. Again, the physical side of all this is pretty much done. Now it's just pretty much, uh, you know, the actual setup process, which I will be going over, um, probably separated in a second video, we'll see, but pretty much connect the hoses that come with it. They are pretty long, so you got plenty of space to work with. Use the rubber washers on the inside to make sure everything is sealed. You're gonna be running a decent amount of pressure through this. Uh, don't pinch your hoses, which I'm gonna rearrange some of this um, off camera. Make sure everything's tightened up, good to go. Route it however you want. And then the physical side, besides dropping the ASIC in, which we're gonna do right now, is pretty much done. Now, just like the machine we're working with over here from fog hashing, be careful with this stuff. This stuff is machined metal and it will slice and dice you. Now, my question is, should I put in the ASIC like this? Will it fit? No, it will not. Okay, so the answer is that. We're gonna put the ASIC in like so. We'll center it right there in the middle. And then before we connect everything, um, you know, we could we could kind of set this up, make sure it's pushed out of the way to be able to pour our fluid in because we want to pour our fluid in before we do that. But I'm just going to leave everything out for now. And then we need to pour in our fluid and then go through the actual setup process, um, which I'm going to study before I continue. So as far as physically setting up this machine, that's pretty much it. Um, everything comes in the kit. Uh, you do get two C19s to C13s for your, like your S19, um, XP, whatever you got. You got a little pump that helps you like move the liquid if you need to to a container. Or if you overfill back into the original container you got. You got two dummy uh, fan adapters for I believe a different type of ASIC. Don't quote me on that. I don't know which one. Probably a C19 or S19, excuse me. The hoses to drain, which that hose reminds me of what you would use to drain or... Um, you know, pump your brakes, uh, make sure there's no air bubbles in it. The full kit or instruction manual is here. It is pretty thick, but I have it electronically. I'll have it linked down below. And then some brackets, which I haven't figured out what they go to. But as far as physically setting up, hoses, washer, power, done. Very simple, very easy. 
probably get it done in 15 minutes if you weren't explaining yourself. And that's pretty much it for this side of things. So let me stop it here. I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Uh, please do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description that help support the channel and what we do here, including some that may be our partners or brands, uh, uh, sponsors or whatever. And I appreciate all your help. So short of plugging this in, we're all set up on the physical side. Just gotta make sure we get the software side. So we'll do that next time. I'll catch you on the next one.